Hello everyone, I'm your Gibbs, and I have a new game for you. It's called Nearwood. Now let's go ahead and actually adjust the music down just a little touch here. So yes, this is Nearwood. It's been out for a while now, and I've been meaning to get to it. I actually just finished playing both of the Brink games, Brink of Consciousness, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get into Nearwood, because I've heard a lot of wonderful things about this game. Kind of go into, uh, let's see here, go into their extras. And then you can kind of see, yeah, so I played Brink of Consciousness, the Dorian Gray Syndrome, and then Brink of Consciousness, the Lonely Hearts Murders. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and play Nearwood. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and play Nearwood. I really am enjoying this opening movie behind the scenes there. And uh, as I was digging through the game files, like I always do, uh, I noticed that this actual movie in the background here is a separate sort of uh, file. So you can actually just play that movie and, I don't know, it kind of looks really lovely. I, <laughs> I don't know what you think, but I think it looks fantastic. We have the Collector's Edition, which means we're going to have some bonus stuff to deal with here. Uh, we're going to get to that, obviously, once we're done with the main game. Now, let's go. Let's begin. Let's play. So we've got ourselves a casual mode, a normal mode, and an expert mode. I think we all know where we're going to land there. There goes that dream again. Aunt Cheryl, you've been my only family since Mom died. <sighs> my dear Jane, how I wish we could have said our goodbyes, but it was not meant to be. Mr. Scott, my notary, will give you the keys to your parents' house. I hope you can forgive me for keeping the truth away from you. I was only trying to protect you. Farewell, my darling. Love, your Aunt Cheryl. You tried to protect me from something, but from what? <sighs> well, it's time to find out. My parents' house. It's been so long. I wonder what awaits me inside. I used to dream about coming back here one day. My childhood toys. Everything is the way I remember it. Fantastic. So, right off the bat, I can already see magic indie all over this game. The Brink of Consciousness games had that kind of, you know, fabulous voiceover, a little text bar at the top, and this clearly is using that same game engine. But from what I understand, this is more of a fantasy-driven story and not so much a horror or detective story. So, you know, let's, let's go ahead and enjoy that. Nothing wrong with a little bit of fantasy in our lives, that's for sure. Alright, so what do we have here? The curse will change to a magnifying glass? Yes. Oops. We broke it. This picture is so dear to me. I'll take that with me. Ooh, look, we found a key. Um, hello there. Little wizard man with elf ears. Jane! Over here! How does he know my name? <laughs> Don't know. You can move between locations. Yes, 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 I sure can. Okay, fine, I'll do it. 
All these years I've been waiting for you. <laughs> you are Jane Lockwood, the daughter of Nathan and Elizabeth Lockwood? Yes, that's me. But who are you? What are you doing in my house? How do you know my name? Oh, I did not introduce myself. I am Faye the Advisor of Nearwood. I'm sure you've had dreams about the magical world you used to visit as a child. Nearwood is my home. The place I've been away from for so many years now. You wanted to know what happened to your father? The journey awaits us then. It is the only way to put everything back in its place. The only way for you to find your father. You... you know where my father is? You know a way to find him? I can help you find your father, but you have to come with me. You don't know it yet, but you are the key to everything. This will let us back into Nearwood. This will help you fix everything. Go on, walk up to the mirror and see for yourself. Okay, are we done downstairs though? I'm just gonna go back downstairs just in case we've missed anything. I'm gonna assume the tutorial is gonna take care of us. Uh, okay. Fair enough, we'll go back upstairs. And we will touch the mirror. We have found a medallion. That's a good thing for us to carry around, I think. Items you collect can be used where appropriate. Could it really be more than just a mirror? Oh, that's actually me? Oh, wow, okay. That's a big mirror. Okay, I guess we should go ahead and march forward. Look out! Is it still there? Is it gone? That was... that was... That was what? What was that... shadow? Yeah. What happened to the room? What is going on here? That was a great evil. The shadow of strife and unrest. You see, once upon a time, Nearwood was a land in chaos. Malice ate at the hearts of everyone. Until they came. The Timekeepers. The ones who reigned in the ancient powers of evil. And used the great clock of equilibrium to trap them between the two worlds. Once and for all, we thought. It was a time of great prosperity and peace. There was no more fear. No more suffering. Until one day, by a terrible accident, your father tried to use the clock. And the balance was destroyed. You will learn all about it in good time. Oh, silly father. Why would you do that? Alright, so we are here. We are at the gates of Nearwood, it looks like. I want to know what these little fellas are here. There's three of them here. Ah, uh, oh. Near, Nearwood is full of these nosy little creatures called Snoopsies. A few of them hide in every location you visit. With each three you find, you'll uncover a new page in their secret encyclopedia, which can be accessed by clicking the button in the lower right corner. Oh, there's a couple more here. <laughs> okay. This is definitely fantasy themed. Woo! Awesome. Alright, let's see what this does then. Do I have to say this? Maybe? Once upon a time, Father Snoopsy brought his family to Nearwood. Oh, I see. Okay, so I need three more to unlock the next page of that story. Got myself a bell. And a stone slab. A permanent source of fire. It might come in handy. There are empty slots on this gate. 
Let's go ahead and try the key here. We got the shadow even on the key. Fantastic. There are empty slots in the gate. Yes, I know that. Whoa! Find all the objects on the list and you'll be rewarded with a new useful item. Turtles and snails. Okay. Oh! So it is out here too. Okay. That's what I was wondering about. I was wondering if it was inside and outside or what was the story here. So for those of you that have actually played uh, Nearwood, I'd love to hear your early thoughts. Obviously, I don't want to get any spoilers from all of you, but uh, from what I understand, it was a very uh, well-received game uh, from last year, critically and also from the fans. They just from what I could tell, but uh, you know, as things go, typically I don't have time to play everything I want to play, so you have to eventually make time, which is what I'm doing right now. And why not? So I need turtle and snails one. What exactly does that mean? Does that mean I need one turtle and one snail? Good question. So I'm not sure how small these things might be. It doesn't look like I can turn any of these over. Unless it's outside here. Like, that is one big turtle, but I don't think that's counting. Alright, well, let's find out what we're missing here. Oh, wow. That is one well-hidden snail. <laughs> Alright, that's going to help us with the gate, I'm sure. What are we doing here? Do I just click them? Nope. i got to tell them where to go. That's cool. I don't know if it's really that accurate where they have to go. I think it's just snails or turtles. You pick. Is the gate open? Wow, look at this dude here. He looks like he's had better days. Use the map to see the places of interest. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. Ha ha! So what does my map say? It says my area of interest is back there, but I'm there. Interesting. What does this do? Ooh, okay, this is a pretty big map then. So I'm not sure how many Snoopsies are supposed to be here. If that gives me an indication or not, I don't know. for like a minute. Not even. That can't be good. What a wonderful view. Oh, this one's got like a little flower on his head. Holy cow, I'm gonna die from all this adorability. <laughs> and they make little noises to you. Aww. So we got a, something going on here. There's something in the hand, but it's covered in rust. It will budge. Can I find a way to topple it over? A gem is missing. Uh, Jane, you're not going into the river, I hope. But I don't know about you, but I'm worried about catching a cold. Awesome, okay. I, I won't do that then, because I don't want to catch a cold either. Ooh, okay, there's one ruby that we needed. Snoopsie, where are you? Am I seeing things? Or did the shadow just possess that plant? What does my father have to do with any of this? When your mother fell ill, your father begged the timekeepers to help. But Rhiannon the Wise, who had always been kind to Lisa, would not budge. He refused to bend the timekeepers' laws, even for a close friend. And so we helplessly watched as she passed away. But your father couldn't bear the thought 
In a fit of desperation, he sneaked into the temple and tried to use the clock to turn back time. But the attempt failed. The mechanism broke down, and the clock stopped. All who stood nearby froze as they were, and the evil they had kept in check for millennia was once again set free. Unless we fix the clock, Nearwood will forever remain in the grip of these wicked spirits. No, not the wicked spirits. I see a couple snoopsies. I can't help myself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not going to wear thin at all. We're going to go four hours with snoopsies. Oh my goodness, check this out. Aw, poor thing. I should rescue it, but it's out of reach. Oh my goodness. I can't go across the bridge. That evil plant is in my way. Recipe for weed killer. You can find the other half. I found part of a recipe. This and other notes can be viewed in time accessing here. Oh, neat. Okay. It's just giving you the basics, basically, for what we see there. Something going on over here, too. Oh, random knife. What a beautiful bird! This is actually a really nice looking bird. Oh, I can't even go that way. I gotta go this way. Whoa. It's gone! Jane, wake up! The fog is gone! So it's just like the lost fog monster. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one's in a swing. <laughs> that is great. Hello. Oh, and we got one over here. Look at that, I think we're ready to have some more snoopsy story. Let's go, let's see where we are here. Okay, so we read that one. They built a home in the grass, but the rainbow ferrets kept stealing their food. Then they built a home among the trees, but the birds kept picking at their young. So then, Father Snoopsy found a secret place for his family to live. Alright, you know, I think what we'll do is we'll go maybe every 12 or so. Because it seems like there's like two or three in every scene. Uh, so we'll just try and have that sort of group together. Okay, so we're going to definitely need some sort of flame. Look at the sway of the trees and the colors in this. Wow. Wow, what an attention to detail here. So where was I supposed to get that fire? Fire was back here. Yeah, there we go. Torch me up. Good, good, good. And, uh... Nothing else here. I like how this thing's just buried in there. Let's go see if we can take care of this uh, cobweb here. Good, 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 good. I need something sharp to cut my way through that brush. I don't know if this will work. No, okay, we need something a little bit different. Oh, here we go. Click the question mark if you need instructions for the puzzle. Swap the tiles around, around to make the path for fire and water all the way. Way towards the bottom, you can click the balls any time to get the flow in. Oh, I see. So, how do I... Oh, wow. Wait a minute. What does this do? Oh, I have to really go like that. Oh, that's... Kind of crazy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, so that's not too bad. I can, like, do it clear across the board here. That one's fixed. So I'm gonna try... How in the world is that gonna... Oh, I see, it's gotta come under here. Ah. And under there, too. So let me see here. Let's see. Let's put that over there. What does that do? Gets us there. And that's got to be a straight one. And 
that one can go there. And then this one. This is a pretty cool puzzle. I like this. Wait. Looks like we might have to go this way anyways. Now how far down do I have to go? Ah, it's forcing me to go this way. But I don't have a flat one. Uh, let's see. So is this going to help me at all? Wow, is it going to really make me go up to all of these? No, that can't be right. Maybe. I'll try it. Let's just see what the fire does. Oh, I mean the water. Splish splash. So how in the world am I going to get that down there? Uh, let's see. Looks pretty good, actually. All right, water goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's do fire. How far does it go? It goes right to there. Now, I think I'm going to want to go this way. I'm not sure how much we're... It looked like I had to use almost every piece, didn't it? Let's see. We will totally see. Yeah, see, you know what? I'm not going to be able to go. Oh, but you know what? I can go up. No, that's not going to work. So close, but yet so far. So, what am I... What can I do here? I don't have a lot of flat pieces. Unless I'm supposed to... Like... Oops, no, that's not what I meant to do. Unless I'm supposed to actually go up. And then, uh... Anyways, let's try this. I think we're going to have to use all of the pieces anyways. Let's see here. We'll do that one. And we'll do that one. Let's try. No, that's not going to do it. What did I do here? Where does that go? Ah, tricky. There we go. We don't actually use all of them. Sweet. Ooh, what do we have here? It's a spear. I like spears. Love that puzzle. We're out of time, folks. This is Nearwood. Would love to hear your thoughts so far. Just go out in the comments down below. If you want to watch any of the other games that were made by Magic Indie Softworks, just look for those playlists in the video description. Thank you all for watching!